I couldn't wait for opening day. The uniform was laid out, and every year that I played, all the way through college and even beyond, it got a little bit more. Opening day, you lay out the gear, you get ready. Oh, my God, it's baseball. Baseball's back. Can you imagine, just transport yourself back to whatever town you were in, whatever uniform you wore, whether you had swag and drip or you didn't. I didn't have much early. And your coach said, Joe, Chad, Danny, Brandon, you're pitching opening day. And you said, I'm not up to it, Skip. I'm good. I'll play the outfield instead. <laughs> Marcus Stroman. I Now, I, I want to be clear, Sal. There's a lot with Stroman that I think I can bring into this, which would increase the energy and probably get me. I'm going to have to I'm gonna separate all the other stuff. Because as a New York Yankee, he's done nothing wrong outside of ingratiate himself. Like, he's ingratiated himself to the fans, and I think he's going to control himself. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. I think he's going to control himself on social media. But who the hell does this guy think that he is when Garrett Cole, your ace, is out, and the circumstances completely change, and they become dire? It's not optional. And I understand, eh, it's one of 30 starts, and yeah, it's one of 162 games, and yeah, they all carry the same weight despite the intensified symbolism of opening day. You take that baseball, and that's it. And for, and, and for him to tell Aaron Boone that I am not ready, I don't want to pitch opening day, I've lost respect for the guy. Yankees, that's it. Yankees desperately needed him because Cole is out, like you said, and it may not be worst-case scenario, but... Still, he's out a month or two. They can't go with Rodon, which, by the way, when the report comes out that the Yankees asked Stroman about opening day, it's like, well, they can't go with Rodon after Stroman says no, which makes Rodon look even worse. The New York Yankees, who have aspirations of winning a World Series this year, do not have an opening day starter, and that is because Marcus Stroman has always been about Marcus Stroman. He is as selfish as they come. He is a me guy, not a team guy. I like, I actually can't believe it. They're not asking him to do something. You ask him to pitch opening day, that's an honor. Mm-hmm. Hey, we need you to pitch opening day. Would you be up to it? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I got to stay on my routine. Yeah. What? Yeah. You got to stay on your re- routine? Here's what I'll say. And I said this before. Good luck. Met fans already know this about Marcus <laughs> Stroman. You're going to learn. And it didn't take long. And forget about even the past. And it's not even about opening day. It's about your team asked you to do something yeah. because they need to. Mm-hmm. And you say, nah, you're good because you want to stay on routine. Get lost, you scrub. <laughs> that is sickening. Honestly, I don't care how good you are. That's yeah. sickening. Well, we're not even sure if he's still good. He had a rough second half. I mean, if it, and listen, if it was March 24th, I still wouldn't agree with this. But you got two weeks to adjust. Yeah. Now, I do understand that a lot of people – you know, gloss over the fact that there is there is an intricate routine that really does matter at this level. There's a reason why there's an incremental buildup, you know, f- you know, long toss, flat ground, get to the mound, modified pitch count, 20, 30, 50, 60, you move your way up in a direction that you can, you know, be prepared to tax your arm and go 85, 90 pitches if you have to on opening day. That's not the point. Because he's deep enough into the spring where his routine is just about defined. He got up up to 60 pitches. He didn't didn't pitch well, but he got up to 60 pitches. Now, understand what this is about. This is not about the routine. I'm calling BS. This is about him. And on some level, I I get this because who didn't dream about pitching at Yankee Stadium or Shea Stadium back in the day when we were growing up on opening day, depending upon who you rooted for. So he's looking at the timeline. He doesn't want to start in Houston because if he does, then that takes away his ability to start opening day in the Bronx. Well, I got news for you. Now, Aaron Boone doesn't have the guts to do this, but what I would do if I'm Aaron Boone's, if I'm Aaron Boone, okay, Marcus, I got, I got, you know, I mean, I'm not going to speak this loud. I'm going to, you know, right, sit right. down and say, all right, listen, I got you. But, but what we'll do is we're going to further adjust, you know, start number seven or game number eight. Now you're not pitching in the Bronx. So you don't have to pitch in Houston on opening day, but you're not pitching in the Bronx. Because there's the symbolism of op- of opening day is one thing. And I do think while I would do, I'd give I'd give fingers to pitch on opening day. Yeah. I'd give toe I'd keep my fingers, I'd give a toe. Because right, right. I gotta get the right grip there if I've got four or five pitches. <laughs> you can give your left hand fingers. That's I guess true. If it's my glove hand, I'm good. But it's not so much it's not even about that. But I understand it and I respect it. But it's more about him not answering the bell for his teammates, I can't, I can't. which tells me that could lead to future problems down the road, which we shouldn't be surprised about. 
because it's Marcus Stroman. But I'm trying to be fair and separate the other stuff and just focus on this. He is abandoning his teammates on opening day. It's weak. The more we talk about it, I can't even comprehend that he would do that. And by the way, we're here because the Yankees are in dire straits because Garrett Cole went down. Like, you think Aaron Boone or Brian Cashman want Marcus Stroman to start opening day? No, they don't. Garrett Cole is out for a month, two months, whatever it may be. They're not going to be able to get somebody in here that's going to be able to start opening day. Rodon can't do it because the last year, as we just said, they need confidence in him moving forward. They're not going to put that pressure on him. Strowman's got to do it. Like, they went to him. And, and by the way, you're an organization. You don't ask. You tell. You say, hey, Marcus, you're pitching opening day. Anybody who's going to respond, say, nah, you know what? You get their ass off the team. You're right, BT. This is the beginning. We haven't even gotten opening day yet, and Strowman is already starting with the selfish stuff. And Yankees got what they deserved by signing somebody who they knew. If I know about Marcus Strowman, they should have been able to do it. Go do the homework. Find out. It doesn't take long. It's right in the same town here with the Mets. There's a reason why Marcus Strowman, even though he's a quality pitcher, has been underpaid for a while. After he left the Mets, he got a contract that I didn't think he was. I thought he was going to get more, but the Cubs got him at a good value. There's a reason for that. Marcus Strowman is about Marcus Strowman. I'd be sick if I'm the New York Yankees and a Yankee fan today after him turning down not even the opportunity. They desperately needed him to be their opening day. Yeah, I, and they don't have one. I, I don't know how guys on the team don't look at him a little like, oof, real? Okay, wow, that, that's how it's going to be, huh? 877-337-6666. Who's starting opening day? <laughs> Maybe us. I don't know. You want to do a little bullpen by committee? Nah, I honestly don't know. I, <laughs> we don't want I'm you. Good, yeah. You stay in Queens. <laughs> I don't know, Sal. I, I don't know, but it's, it's bothersome. I, I do think that some will go too far in their raw criticisms of Strowman because of the other stuff. I'm really trying not to do that. But on the most basic professional level and, and requirements and responsibility to your teammate, he is abandoning post, and that's weak. But if this were anybody... Oh, no, no, I, I, I agree. If this were Rodon, if this were uh, Clark Schmidt... Yep. We'd be like, what? Yes, but I yeah, no, I agree. Obviously, it's not a normal his, reaction. Right. Who does this? I don't think I've ever seen this. I, I'm not sure I have either. I don't want to pitch on opening day. That's what we dreamt about. And if it's really because of the home Jeez. opener, that's even more pathetic. But it's a selfish. Well, it, no, that's important. Don't just dismiss that. It is because of the home opener. No, it's not about the routine. That's more, then that's more pathetic. It's absolutely about staying on. And I knew he grew up a Yankee fan. It is a part of his dream. And, he, and you know, before Garrett Cole goes down, he's starting to say that he's lining up in his own mind. All right, we got this. Oh, wow. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, would, I get that there's disappointment, but... You got to answer the bell. Your, your job is to go out there and play and pitch for the New York Yankees. When they tell you to. When they tell you to. Yes. So good luck with Stroman. And by the way, it is bigger picture issues here. Without Garrett Cole, with Stroman doing his thing, with Rodon being what he was a year ago, Yanks are in trouble here to start this season. I don't want to hear the stuff, oh, yeah, this is great news with Garrett Cole. Yeah, it's not the worst news. We're still not out of the woods. It's I not, know. I know there's no tear, but this is going to be a problem that's going to linger on until he comes back, until he looks like himself, and then you're going to hold your breath until you get to October and watch him pitch effectively. Then Yankees have issues here. They need starting pitching desperately, and the guys that they have here don't even want to pitch. <laughs> oh, my God. You're not wrong, Sal. We are inside of our Town Fair Tire Studio. Friends of Town Fair remind you that you always get the guarantee lowest price on name brand tires from Connecticut to me. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. It's going to be a fun weekend. A little Johnny's UConn tonight and the semis at the Garden. We got some giant stuff for you. A little something on Joe Douglas, but uh, a ton of Yankee stuff out of the shoot here. How the hell do you turn down getting the ball on opening day? It's it's it's, it's embarrassing. Let's get to Jaden first up in a story. What's going on, Jaden? How are you today? BT, Sal, what's good morning, fellas? How we doing? What's up, Jaden? Hello, Jaden. What's, what's going on, buddy? BT, I just want to say I'm a big fan. I've been watching you since after high school, racing home to watch the wheelhouse. <laughs> also uh, a Jets and Yankee fan. I know we're rare, but um, I want to talk about Marcus Stroman. Okay. Um, let's say we're in the playoffs, and we need him to go on short rest. Is that going to be a problem for him, too? Because, I mean, mm. opening day is a big day. So is a playoff game. Let me know your thoughts. Yeah, well, that's you know, that's interesting. Let's, let's hope there are playoffs. And with this rotation right now, I can see why people are a little bit worried about that. Thanks for the call, Jaden. Thanks for the kind words as well. You know, Mike Lucina was a – was, and it was kind of to his detriment. And he was a quirky guy, really good, but quirky. And a little detached from the clubhouse and set in his ways, whatever. A creature of habit. Even he deviated from it to come out of the bullpen to get that double play against the Red Sox in the playoffs. So, I listen, I'm going to give Marcus Stroman the benefit of the doubt and say – 
I mean, if it's game five against the Astros or the Orioles or the Rays or whomever, and the Yankees are trying to piece together a couple of outs, that Marcus Stroman's going to say, I'm, uh, give me the baseball. And if not, then Marcus Stroman could just, you know, get on the nearest subway and 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 leave the Yankees because it's a, that's an unforgivable turndown. But on a lot of levels, so is this. It looks bad. And, you know, he doesn't have any equity with the Yankees. He's got no equity with that clubhouse. He's pulling rank, though, already. Yeah. What do you think his teammates now? The game's changed so much. Do you think so Aaron much. Judge happy about this? I don't know. And Aaron Judge, it's a big weekend for Aaron Judge. Yeah. Something else today. we'll get to later. Now, I know today, tomorrow as well. We're on top of that. We'll get it to you when we see stuff. we got some strong thoughts on that. But imagine, you know, I just mentioned when I was growing up opening day and going through the, you know, the lead up and the excitement, the build up. And, you know, it was Ron Guidry or it was, mm-hmm. you know, um, uh, Tom Se- well, not really even Seaver, but obviously Gooden and slightly before yep. Dodd. We know the guys who were taking the baseball for the Yanks and the Mets back then. You imagine one of those guys saying no? Oh, my Can God. Can you imagine that? Yeah, well, what do you think the manager – again, we're in a world now for some reason – they asked. No, I was just going to say that Davey Johnson wouldn't ask. Yeah, you're not you know, asking. Billy Morton's not asking. You're starting. Go. That's it. You're starting this game. You're coming out of this game. He's going into this game. They don't ask. Can you Look, Brian Cashman, say what you will about him. Brian Cashman's a prideful guy and yeah. a guy who knows he's the boss of the team. You think Brian Cashman is accepting this well when the Yankees desperately need Marcus Stroman to start opening day? They, look, they would he wouldn't be starting opening day if they weren't desperate. So they're asking him to do that, and he's like, nah, I'm good. You think that's going over well no. with Brian Cashman, no. Aaron Boone, Aaron Judge? No. To the point, Seth, certainly not going over, over well with the fans. To the point, when I saw this, obviously very busy. Sal was at the Garden. Nice job stopping yes. by. He's rooting on the Johnnies a little bit. Thanks good for the invite. Sal. It was awesome. Yeah, it was great. And by the time I got home and juggling some things, like, but I saw this. I was, I was trying to follow Marist in the MAC quarterfinals. I saw this. I'm like, this can't be real. Like, it's one of those things where you scroll and it's like so unbelievably uh, unbelievable that I'm like, there's no way that this is actually happening. And then I'm like, wow, this is actually true. You know what, bitch? Joe on Staten Island. Joe with BT and Sal. What's going on, Joe? So, so normally I'm a purist and I would agree with you, but okay. I mean, I don't know. Put, put yourself in his shoes. Okay. He's a local kid, grew up a Yankee fan. He gets to pitch the home opener in the Bronx. To yep. me, that's more important than pitching the home opener in Houston. Okay? You know, I, I don't know. That's you're, you're, missing, I you're, you're missing a point. The team needs you to do something. It's not about you. It's about the, the team. team just, the team just uh, – listen, there's, how, many, how many starting pitches do they have on their staff? Well, right now, I mean, good ones or just arms? I, that, I, they, I don't know. I don't know either, actually. I'm not sure. Plug anybody in. The first game of the year, whatever. It, 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 you're, there's 150. Joe, you're, miss, yeah. you're missing the point. Sal, I'll tell him. Joe, the, you're missing this, Joe. The team asked him to do it. Well, this is not about what Marcus Stroman wants. By the way, opening day, if the game were in the Bronx, Marcus Stroman wouldn't have had that opportunity. Well, now he would have, but you get the point. It's not about like, oh, pitch the home opener. What's more important, pitching opening day at Yankee Stadium or pitching in the postseason at Yankee so, Stadium? So let, let me ask Let me ask you this, okay? You're making excuses for Rodon. They gave him the money. By the way, Sal, how did Rodon pitch last outing? Because remember, I asked you to put your money where your mouth is. Anyway. Um, about About what? About you thinking that Rodon was going to be as bad as last year? Yeah, okay. I, yeah, Joe, it's spring no, train. Joe, don't be flexing on spring train. Yeah. I know the hey. the radar gun's favorable. You want, it's you the like spring, you want, Joe. You want to take the whole spring, what? or you want to take just his last outing? Uh, he had more good outings than bad outings. N- this spring, no, he hasn't. Already. He had one good one last one. Here's the bottom line. He's Joe, looked okay, but that doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, Joe. And, well, and why isn't Rodon starting opening day then? Why the they didn't ask him? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, they why, didn't, Joe? but, yeah, but Joe, he Joe, he didn't turn but it you down. Didn't make excuses for him. No, no, Joe, hold on one sec, Joe. What you're saying to Sal is two very different things. First of all, I agree. Rodon has shown some signs this spring. First, that first outing was good. Then he got banged around. Last one was more impressive. I think he's been okay, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm somewhat lukewarm excited on him. But that's not the point. They didn't ask Rodon, and so he didn't turn them down. It's not about seizing the stage and scratching a childhood itch. It's about doing your job when your employer tells you to do your job. How do you not understand that, Uh, Joe? uh, Imagine, I know you love the analogies. Here's one. Imagine they're like, hey, Boomer and Gio are on vacation. They're going away for two weeks or whatever. We need you guys to move the show. No, I'm getting up too early. I can't. Yeah, I I can't get up at 2.30 in the morning. Imagine, oh, sorry, we like to stay in our normal time slot. I'm not getting up there. You do it. You You do do it. it. You do it. You do it. You do it. I don't care when they ask you, you do it. Well, it's very simple philosophy. It's not about Marcus Stroman and his ego and what he wants. This is life. Your employer asks you to do something, you suck it up, and you do it.
especially when they need you. I'm they, with you. They desperately need Marcus. Look, if I'm blue and I say this, Marcus, I got to be honest with you. You're the last guy on earth that I want to be asking <laughs> to go off his routine and start opening day. Like, I want nothing to do with you, period. However, I'm compromised here. We got no other choice. Our ace went down. Yeah. You're on this team. Can you be a team player and take the start opening day? Like, I mean, that's how you, I, I know you say that like that. Like, I, I, I get where you're going. I, he would never say it like that, but they, well, that, that you, would incentivize you, him to you, pitch. You sure, get the skip, same re- okay. Yeah, you get the same result. Instead, it's probably, still say no. oh, hey, Marcus, come into my office. Yeah. Oh, do you want a nice Gatorade? I got some Gatorade on. Nice. What do you want? Coffee, uh, cappuccino, whatever you want. What you, oh, we need you to pitch opening day. Let me get down <laughs> on my hands and knees and beg you to. Can you please, on top of your twenty-five million yeah, a year, yeah. whatever you're getting, can you please pitch opening day for us? We need you because Cole went down. He's like, nah, I'm good. Please do us a solid, yeah. Marcus. Come on, we're at a tough spot. We're at a pinch. It's it's absurd. Now, everybody, think about this. If opening day was in the Bronx, do you think Stroman turns it down? The answer is no. See, I have a bigger problem with that. If it's his routine, you can make a legitimate case. Certain guy. Now, again, in this spot, hey, you got to alter your routine. Yes. They need you. So there is not no to your excuse. physical detriment, but that's why I right. said to start the show it's two that, weeks. That yeah, he's deep enough into his routine and he's got two weeks to adjust. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to. The arms matter, and these guys are paid a lot but, of money to get through season. So you can't be reckless. But you're past the reckless point. His arms already built up to 60 pitches. You got two weeks to to navigate this, make a slight adjustment, take the rock on opening day, and let's go. But if you want to fight in the off and say, "Well, he's a creature of habit, and he needs to be in routine," at least there's somewhat of an argument there. There is none for saying. No, I just want to pitch the home opener, and I've got friends and family coming to see me pitch the home opener. That is bull crap. Mm-hmm. Rav, or is it Rav or Rave in Maywood? What's going on? BT and Sal, how are you? Hey, what's going on, bro? It's Rav. Rav, hey, gotcha. I thought so. You've called Rav? before. What's happening, buddy? Hey, what's going on? Hey, man, I just don't think it's such a big deal. I mean, um, Garrett Cole just went down with an injury, so why would we want to mess up this guy's routine and further risk another injury to another start in our rotation just to pitch an uh, opening day? I mean, I get it. Everybody as a kid, if you ever play baseball, that's the, oh, my God, that's the biggest joy you get. It's like you said, BT, you put your clothes out. Yeah. You can't even sleep uh-huh. waiting for that opening day. I get it. But I, I think, the, you know, he's thinking the bigger picture. He wants to stay healthy. He wants to prove to the Yankees, you know, that whatever he's worth. Yep. And I don't think it's, I don't think it's such right, a well, thing. Well, you can well, give well. Cortez the ball. Mm-hmm. It's just one game, you know. And I think it's, it's you have to think the long term. You you say what this guy? Uh, what, we want to give you the ball opening day. This guy goes all right. Let me let me rush through my routine. Let me get ready for opening day. Then guess what? Oh, Stormin is out with an oblique issue or something. Then then, we'll, then what are we gonna say? Well, this what we're gonna so say good, is, I, 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 Rav, you, yeah, I think you. I I hear you. I I do. I do understand what you're saying for sure. I certainly understand it. I don't fully agree because I think that you're over embellishing just the the how how vulnerable and fragile Marcus Stroman would be. Uh, if they slightly modify his routine. I mean, <laughs> Come give, me, on. give me a break. They're not asking him on February 19th after, you know, taking uh, some lazy shagging in the outfield and running a few poles and doing long toss to go out and throw 95 high leverage, exert, uh, high exertion pitches. What? They've been pitching for a month now. Here, what happens if there's a rain delay or a rain out? Yeah, that's, that's funny. Well, there won't be in Houston, though, because of the dog. So what, yeah, but don't they play somewhere else? Yeah, they, where? they start, uh, where do they go? Uh, oh, God, is it Milwaukee? Where do they go before they what, come what's back? The, what's first, the Yankees' first, first six games Houston. or whatever the schedule? Well, we'll figure it out. Either way, the first four, first four are, are, are definitely in Houston. Okay. And Yeah, I mean, that could complicate anyway, things. Would he then uh, have uh, an issue with that? Yeah, but forget about even that. What about if it's in the spring? What about if his next spring start? I know what you're saying. Rain out. Now, does this set the it, tone? It, it screws up the routine because you're. It's even if it's for a day. Yes. And does this now set the tone to basically... In his mind, allow in Arizona, him, so they can't. That's right, yeah. Arizona. So the first seven are in domes right. there. In his mind, to basically never get out of his comfort zone, even if the Yankees need him, and and it's it's like it's it's necessary. Like it's one thing, and I don't agree with it. Oh, yeah, I'm not yet ready to pitch open the day. Okay, fine. But what if there's, I think to your point, what if there's a rain out in May or their doubleheader or what, whatever right. that's going to present itself throughout the course of 162 game, six month baseball season that could, you know, theoretically get him off schedule? Is he never going to right. help out the team? Is this just one of seven or eight things where he's done? You know, it's just, it's a bad look. Minimum, bad look.
877-337-6666. BT and Sal on the fan.